It's May 2023 and many Fire TV Stick users are having trouble loading the Paramount Plus app. We're going to find out how you can try and resolve this problem. If you're watching this as a short, tap on the thumbnail in the bottom right hand corner right now to see the full video. If you're already watching the full video, then hang tight. More details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So since around the end of April 2023, quite a few users have reported problems on their Fire TV, Fire TV Stick and Fire TV Cube devices loading the Paramount Plus app. Now, at the moment, Amazon are looking into this, so hopefully there will be a fix soon. But in the meantime, some users have found other ways to get it back working again. Sometimes this is only temporary, sometimes this is permanent. But let's have a look at all the ways we can try and get the app working again and tell Amazon and Paramount Plus fix the issue between themselves. So first of all, I would recommend restarting your Fire Stick. Now do this by holding down the play pause button on your remote control and the center button in the middle of the remote until you get a message coming up in the center of the screen saying your device is powering off. Let the device fully restart. This might take a few moments, so just be patient with it. As you can see, mine is now restarting. And then once it's restarted, find the app again and try loading it. If it still doesn't work, then press the home button on the remote control to go back to the main screen. And then we need to go across to the settings cog just over there on the right. Then go down and across to applications, middle button, Go down to manage installed applications, middle button. And then we need to go down the list and we need to find Paramount Plus. Once you've found it, make sure it's highlighted in white. And then what you want to do is middle button and then go into permissions, first of all, and just make sure that location and storage say allow. As you can see, mine say deny. So I'm going to change those. So all I need to do is I just need to make sure that location's highlighted first of all, middle button, and then that changes that to allow. Go down to storage. If that says deny like mine does, again, highlight it, middle button, and make sure that says allow. Then press the back button on the remote once, then go down to false stop, middle button, and then go down to clear cache, middle button. And then what we need to do is we want to go up to launch application, middle button, and just see whether or not this fixes the problem. OK, don't worry if it doesn't. Just keep pressing the back button on the remote until you get back to this screen here. And then this time we want to go to full stop again, middle button, then go down to clear cache, middle button, then go up to clear data, middle button, middle button again, and then go up to launch application, middle button and see whether or not this allows you in. Now, if it does allow you in, then what you'll probably find is, is that it goes back to the initial sign in screen and you'll get this privacy notice come up. So let's continue that. And you, like I say, you'll go back to the sign in screen and you'll have to sign in again with your Paramount Plus username or password or sign in with a partner if you've signed up through your cable or satellite TV service. Now, what if that still hasn't worked? So let's go back to this screen here. The next thing we want to do is once again, we want to go down to full stop, middle button, go down to clear cache, middle button, go up to clear data, middle button, middle button again. And then we want to go up to uninstall, middle button, make sure that confirm is highlighted, middle button and just let the application uninstall. Now press the home button on the remote control to go back to the main menu. And it's worth doing this first of all. We wanna restart the Fire TV device again. So grab your remote, press and hold the play pause button and then press and hold the middle button on the remote control until you see this banner come up in the middle of the screen saying your device is powering off. Let your stick 
check your cube or your TV restart. As you can see, mine's restarting. Just be patient with it. It might take a couple of seconds for it to restart, maybe even span into minutes, but whatever it takes, just let it restart. And as you can see, mine's now restarting and loading. And hopefully in a second, the menu will start coming up. So the next thing we want to do is we want to go across to the, the magnifying glass there, go down to search middle button and then just type on there Paramount Plus. And as you're typing it, you should see Paramount Plus come up below the keyboard. Once you see it, go down to it, highlight it, middle button on the remote and then make sure that the blue and white Paramount Plus is highlighted there, middle button and then middle button again to reinstall it. Now this bit again might take a bit of time. It really does depend on the speed of your internet connection and the speed of your Fire TV device. So just be patient, let this circle go all the way around. And then once it's gone all the way around, it should then start to install. Hopefully again, once we come to the installing process, it shouldn't take too long. As you can see, mine's now showing installing. Once it's installed, you should see the word open or done come up. Once you see that, middle button on the remote control and then let the Paramount Plus app load. OK on the privacy notice and then once again, you will need to re-sign in again. You don't need to re-sign up. You just need to sign in with your existing Paramount Plus sign in details. Or again, if you've signed up with a cable or satellite TV provider, then you need to sign in with those partner details. Now, what if it's still not working? Well, just obviously make sure that you're not running a VPN because sometimes a VPN can interrupt the sign in. Unfortunately, some providers now, some apps are blocking VPNs. Another thing to try is if you can perhaps tonight turn off your router and leave it switched off overnight and then turn it back on in the morning. And hopefully if you're not on a static IP address, it will pick up a different IP address and that might also let you in as some ISPs do have problems with some IP addresses. Sometimes they're actually picked up as being from another country and sometimes it can cause IPs to be blocked by certain apps. And if you've then tried all the suggestions in this video and it's still not working, then you may well just have to wait for Amazon and Paramount Plus to sort the problem out. But if you've managed to sort this problem out in a different way, then please let us know down below in the comments. It would be great to hear from you. And don't forget, whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not have a look around? I've got thousands of other videos covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money.